thank you for choosing to watch this video. If at this moment, in this period in your life, if you need some of our Father's comfort, if you need to be reminded of his strength, of his, of his might, of his power, of his wisdom, of his love, of the truth, that our Father, that our Father God is in complete and utter control in spite of everything that's going on in the world in 2020. He is in control. And this is a message, this is a reading from Isaiah 40. And I pray that you hearing these words, some of which, or most of which you may have heard before, or maybe not, you may be watching this at this point having not yet come into faith and not come into the full truth of who you are in Christ. So wherever you are in your life, on your journey, our Father meets us wherever we are and speaks to us throughout our life at different moments with his plan for your life and for my life and for all our lives to bring us into the full truth of who we are in Christ. So my prayer is that you will be encouraged by these words and you will be reminded you will be reminded that the Lord has no equal. I'm reading from the NLT version, Isaiah 40. Comfort for God's people. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem. Tell her that her sad days are gone and her sins are pardoned. Yes, the Lord has punished her twice over for all her sins. Listen, it's a voice of someone shouting. Clear the way through the wilderness for the Lord. Make a straight highway through the wasteland for our God. Fill in the valleys and level the mountains and hills. Straighten the curves and smooth out the rough places. Then the glory of the Lord will be revealed and all people will see it together. The Lord has spoken. A voice said, shout. I asked, what should I shout? Shout that people are like the grass. Their beauty fades as quickly as the flowers in a field. The grass withers and the flowers fade beneath the breath of the Lord. And so it is with people. The grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of our God stands forever. O oh Zion, messenger of good news, shout from the mountain tops, shout it louder, O oh Jerusalem, shout and do not be afraid. Tell the towns of Judea, your God is coming. Yes, the sovereign Lord is coming in power. He will rule with a powerful arm. See, he brings his reward with him as he comes. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will carry the lambs in his arms, holding them close to his heart. He will gently lead the mother sheep with their young. The Lord has no equal. Who else has held the oceans in his hand? Who has measured off the heavens with his fingers? Who else knows the weight of the earth or has weighed the mountains and hills on a scale? Who is able to advise the spirit of the Lord? Who knows enough to give him advice or teach him? Has the Lord ever needed anyone's advice? Does he need instruction about what is good? Did someone teach him what is right or show him the path of justice? No. For all the nations of the world are but a drop in the bucket. They are nothing more than dust on the scales. 
he picks up the whole earth as though it were a grain of sand. All the wood in Lebanon's forests and all Lebanon's animals would not be enough to make a burnt offering worthy of our God. The nations of the world are worth nothing to him. In his eyes they count for less than nothing, mere emptiness and froth. To whom can you compare God? What image can you find to resemble him? Can he be compared to an idol formed in a mould, overlaid with gold and decorated with silver chains? Or if people are too poor for that, they might at least choose wood that won't decay and a skilled craftsman to carve an image that won't fall down. Haven't you heard? Don't you understand? Are you deaf to the words of God? The words he gave before the world began. Are you so ignorant? God sits above the circle of the earth. The people below seem like grasshoppers to him. He spreads out the heavens like a curtain. He makes his tent from them. He judges the great people of the world and brings them to all to nothing. They hardly get started, barely taking root, when he blows on them and they wither. The wind carries them off like chaff. To whom will you compare me? Who is my equal? Asks the Holy One. Look up into the heavens. Who created all the stars? He brings them out like an army, one after another, calling each by its name. Because of his great power and incomparable strength, not a single one is missing. Oh, Jacob. How can you say the Lord does not see your troubles? O oh, Israel, how can you say God ignores your rights? Have you never heard? Have you never understood? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of all the earth. He never grows weak or weary. No one can measure the depth of his understanding. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youths will become weak and tired, and young men will fall in exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Praise God. I hope and pray that you've received those words. You've, you've got a greater understanding and a, and a greater appreciation and a, and a greater depth of, of awe and fear of the Lord our God for his strength, for his might. Praise God, hallelujah. God bless you and protect you. I pray that you've been strengthened in your walk with our Father. And our Father wants you to know, He just wants to be closer to you. He wants to have a more intimate relationship with you. He wants you to lean on Him. He wants you to give everything in your life to Him. To literally let go of everything. So that He can work His miracles, signs and wonders. So He can fill you, fill you with His Holy Spirit. for your With your obedience to Him. Seeking Him, praying to Him, worshipping Him glorify him in him he wants to be closer to you he wants to be closer he wants to give you so much more than you've experienced so far in your life in your walk as a Christian and if you're not yet in faith our father who has been with you throughout your entire life even without you knowing it and realising it and turning to him he has always been there and you're watching this message for our Father to touch you and for you to have a revelation of who our Father in heaven is, the creator of the earth, loves you more than you can ever possibly comprehend, loves each and every one of us. And no height, nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate you from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Praise God. And if you're watching this and you're experiencing at the moment any level of fear in your life, in your life circumstances, know and internalize and truly believe in this promise of God 
our Father God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Peace be still. Peace be still. God bless you and protect you and your entire family. You have all been chosen to be free, and who the Son sets free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, amen. Agape.